as you start heading down the hill, the uh, two others with you introduce themselves. Well, it looks like we're going to be working together on this. Excuse me, the Dragonborn, who has kind of rust-colored scales, introduces himself as, uh, my name is Kriv. Hmm. Good to meet you. Never actually, never actually met a Dragonborn before. The uh, Tiefling, a uh, female Tiefling with uh, dark blue hair and uh, silver eyes, introduces herself as Callista. Never met anyone like you before. <laughs> You would, you would guess that the Dragonborn is some sort of fighter and that she's some sort of magic user, based on how they're dressed. I probably wouldn't have such niche opinions. <laughs> well, except for the fighter. Yeah, the, you, the fighter is easy enough to guess. Yeah. So you walk to the gate uh, and ask the guards where you can find it. So it's, well, it's about... Let's see, there's the... It's about 15 miles from here to the uh, west, I believe. Yes, it's about 15 miles from uh, it to the west in a small little patch of woods called the Cloakwood. Just follow the King's Road. You'll be able to see the old Ruin Manor out. It'll be very clear what it is once you've gone about 15 miles. Okay. What time of day is it? It was, it was about noon when he finally... Mm -hmm. No. What do you guys say? In the morning? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, depends heading, on what you say. It's 15 miles. Yeah, I think we can cover it. I think we could cover it in a little while. All the terrain's pretty good. Where are we now? The uh, Dragonborn and Tiefling are both both nod that whatever's good for whatever's good for you, this is Probably not one uh, one that would be smart to uh, attack alone. I'm leaving it up to you guys whether you want to uh, bum around town for the rest of this day or go directly there. We've got one vote either way. <laughs> I think we should travel most of the way there now and then rest, and when we get there, we won't you know, road travel all day. Yeah, that not makes a sense. Plan. I'm probably going to pull out my leather shade slash blank blankets to use because I'm getting a little cold. I don't have a shirt. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead and describe yourselves. Sorry. No, that's all right. Uh, let's see. Five foot ten, human, very tan, completely bald. No shirt, blue pants. Okay. Ruddy dark skin, um, six foot five, two hundred and forty pounds, wing naked, well, shirtless, scarred up. Scraped bald also? <laughs> yeah. Until, you know, I get into like really rage and then the flames just kind of yeah. come out on their I own. I tried to, but. <sighs> Color pencil wasn't the best for it. You're wearing clothes, right? Yeah, I have yeah. leather armor on. I just hadn't drawn it on because I hadn't picked my equipment yet. Uh, so, gotcha. in fact, I, in fact, you know, I'll put my leather armor on when we start heading out. When we actually start heading out in the morning to the manor. Okay. Ike. All right. Um, well, typical warforge. But I'm covered in moss with two tree branches sticking out like little antlers. I've stuck in my head. <laughs> I am fuzzy. <laughs> How tall moss. are you? I am six foot two. And so three, I think three hundred pounds. So I'm probably I'm probably the shortest one here. <laughs> I thought you were six five. Yeah. They're big. <laughs> All right. You've never seen uh, green rocks like uh, you see here, and mm -hmm. what's on him apparently. Yeah, he's he's certainly interesting. All right, as you start walking down, walking uh, out the gate and along the King's Road. First thing you pass is the uh, Nentu River, as they point, as the uh, guards point out. 
As you as you go, you see. So that thing's a river. You as as you travel, you see about half and half old ruined farmsteads and uh, functioning subsistence farms. I wonder what half of them are ruined. I wonder if there's any vegetation growing in the ruined. There's vegetation growing everywhere as oh, far as you can consider it. Alright, let me... You were, well, actually, I probably wouldn't know what's safe to eat or not, so... I would hope you still have some... that you bought some rations, but... Well, I probably have some... Yeah, I've got some jerky still, but... Okay. After you cross the river, excuse me, the, uh, the landscape is generally fairly hilly until you've cropped past about 10 miles where it smooths out into more plain area. Which astonishes me even more because it's green as far as I can see. After the uh, 14th or so mile, you can see the woods that, based on their description, uh, sounds like the Cloakwood off to the south and decide that it would be a good place to camp for the night, That's since that's your plan. No place for me to dig down into a decent shel shelter, so I'll just... But then again, tree cover provides plenty. You can see the, uh, as it starts to get dark, you can see the uh, forest looming in the distance. So you camped within sight of the woods, which you assume will be fairly close to the manor. You didn't get close enough to see it because... Mm. Okay. Camping right beside a cobalt den is not the smartest idea. Yeah. And given that the two of you have never encountered a warforged before, and uh, yeah. neither neither for the uh, other two, one of the uh, dragonborn pipes up. So who's taking the first watch? I'll, I'll take, take all the watch. The what? I don't sleep. You sure you'll be fine in the morning without any sleep? Yep. Huh. I'll just rest. Okay. I'm, I've done all night. I've done all nighters before, but so we're we're out in the we're not actually in the woods. Then we're out in the open. Yeah, you're you're out in the open. The plains you like you camped within sight of the woods, mm -hmm. but not in it. Okay. Unless you'd like to move. Unless you'd like to move the camp. This is more my assumption of you don't want to quite go to the manor. Yet. Yeah, don't want to be tree cover or not. Yeah. <laughs> It's your guys' call. So the, 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 I mean, the kobolds are where, exactly? The uh, kobolds are in a ruined manor. It's probably about a mile away. You can't... Uh, it's, Is it in the trees or not? It's on the edge in the trees. Ah. But, uh, like I say, you camped, you camped within sight of the woods, but not within sight of the manor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, best we stay the, a little ways away. The manor, the manor itself, us as we sleep. you estimate, is about a mile away. And they've been bothering the town? They they haven't been bothering the town. They've been bothering the caravans that pass along the road. Mm -hmm. We might be seen as a caravan if we get too close. Yeah. So let's stay away from their direct shot oh, here's to good. the caravan. So yeah, as long as we're out of view of... Maybe if we could find like a low section in just the plains area, then. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you. Uh, when you come up to the plains area, since it ends, since the uh, hills end very shortly before the woods, you uh, camp sort of in one of the uh, depressions at the last hills. Mm -hmm. Well, it may be pretty cold during the day, but at, le but at least. At least during night, it doesn't get that much colder. Yeah, it's un... Well, Ike, you don't care being a construct. <laughs> Spencer does get uncomfortably cold. It drops down to about 48 as it the uh, sun goes down. Would I really get cold? <laughs> I'm fairly sure you'd note it. Notice the cold, but you could probably heat yourself up easy enough. I'm probably not not bothered enough to build a fire. Just put on my, just put on my le leather armor, use my leather blanket, and I'll be good. Ike, are you going to build a fire? 
No. Okay. I am not. Spencer, are you going to be a fire? <laughs> I'm, I'm checking that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if he's had bad dreams again, he burnt down another inn. I figured he'd give us away more than I would do anything for him. So. Okay. As you roll up in your bed rolls, working under the assumption that you bought bed rolls. Well, besides that, <laughs> <one, yeah. laughs> I'm just going to sit in in style, like in the middle of everyone, and just sit there. All right, Ike, you rest for uh, four hours, keeping an eye out. The other two of you wrap yourselves up in your bedrolls and keep warm for the night. Mm -hmm. After about eight hours of sleep, you wake up and somehow he's still awake. Doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to you. You can't explain that. I will, I will have slept on the opposite side of the camp from the uh, Dragonborn. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't like him. Came from a dragon ruled sleep uh -huh. type place. Yeah. I'm kind of very hated towards them. Yeah. I got no real opinions on anyone here. No one's a halfling, so I'm not worried about getting eaten in the middle of the night. The sun comes up over the horizon. Yeah. The valley slowly brightens and it starts warming up to what those of you that can feel temperature would consider a <laughs> temperature. I think I feel it. Just wouldn't bother me. Cold or hot? Mm -hmm. I'm probably much more comfortable wearing my leather armor at the moment. <laughs> so I'll have some jerky, swig of water, and be ready to go. Yeah, didn't get it. Didn't get as cold overnight as you're used to nights being. Yeah. As the dragonborn and tiefling wake up, roll up their bed rules. Excuse me, and take out some trail rations to uh, start eating. Mm -hmm. All right, are we gonna get going? Why not? Get this done. Get this done, and soon get back and get some cash. You see them do. Assuming you they... do see them briefly check their belongings to make sure nothing's missing. <laughs> I check my belongings too. <laughs> I checked them by I checked them by hat by pretty much rolling up my bedroll and having something to eat and drink. Other than that, I've got the rope, which I probably tied my bedroll up with. A shovel, which would be pretty easy. Which would be pretty hard to miss. Well, that's true, I haven't really finished buying equipment. And that no one seems to want my money. Please handbook. Just the odds and ends. Your money's no good here, and that's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? Yep. As you break camp, walk the final mile towards the Ruined Manor. As you uh, carry on down the road, you spot it well in the distance. As the uh, you approach the once sprawling manor, which is whose name has been lost to history and is now simply called Cobalt Hall. As you search the inside of the keep, you find a trap you find a trap door at the base of an old guard tower that leads deeper beneath the ruins. Hmm. There uh, a ladder in the at the trap door? No, it's a, a uh, stairway. Oh, oh, a stairway down. Okay, it's it's like a cellar. I see. Well, let's flip over the map to squares. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Also of note, as you descend, you do hear growling and yapping from down below. It's all dark down here, right? Actually, it is lit. Wonder okay, so Wonder who's in front? Uh, I'm up front. Yeah. 
Wonder who set wonder who set the fires. Like I said, you can oh, hear growling off. and yapping from below. Yeah. And the uh tor and the uh tor there are torches lighting up as you go down. Mm-hmm. So again, mm -hmm. my I'm probably just wondering to myself, huh, wonder who lit wonder who lit these. Spencer, are you going to be in the front, middle, or back? Who's the other guy at front? Okay. Uh, this is the Dragonborn. I'll be behind him. Of course, gotta have my hammer Mike. out and ready. Uh, I'll be next to the key thing. Okay. okay, are you going to try to go down quietly or not? <laughs> mm. I I figure best not make too much noise. Well, it makes more sense to. Don't want them to scatter. Yep. Sure. We're at full hit points, right? Yes, you're at full hit points. Okay. Full hit points and one action point. In the action points you get one a day. Action points, uh, I award them throughout the day, but you start every day with one. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Does anyone speak cobalt? Speak? No. Yes. Wait. Draconic? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Sorry, I had to no. think about that. Oh, yes. I'm still curious about. I'm sorry. Speak. They're like they are like rats to me. So it's like, <laughs> oh wait, yeah, they do speak. As far as I'm aware, we are just fighting big rats. Yes, you have no idea what it is that you are after. Yeah, <laughs> and when he said, kind of rat dog sort of things. Rat lizard. Oh, rat lizard sort of things. Okay, we're fighting rats. Okay. Not glorious work, but hey, it's something. Are they saying anything of value, or can I hear them enough to hear what they're saying? At, fir at first, you they're far enough that it just sounds like yapping and barking. As soon as the dragonborn puts his foot down on the step, his chainmail decides to go clink, 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 and all the noises downstairs stop. <laughs> Well, so much, so much for not scaring these things away. Let's burn the one in his stealth. <laughs> He's working with them. <laughs> it does look like them. Yeah, roll the one on his stealth. So let's roll initiative. Nineteen. I like this dice. Nice. Woo! Twenty-two. Oh yeah, and again, you all get plus two because of the uh, war. Uh, the Dragonborn's uh, Warlord ability. Sweet. 24. <laughs> 21. 10. <laughs> I know the feeling. Hopefully the Cobalts will roll worse. We'll see. 46 there. How's that? I kind of roll that one combat. I know, right? <laughs> This here, here. All right, uh, Ike. You won the initiative. Woo! You are also not in front. Yes. Woo! You, <laughs> you are about 15 feet up, and uh, in here the ceiling ends at about 10 feet, so you can't really see down there beyond about this far. Okay. Well, I'll get out of the way if you decide you need to push past me. Yeah, as long as they allow you, uh, you can move through their squares. No, nope. I'll just be push back initiative to behind them, I guess. Since I can't see anything. Okay. Since your initiative is high, the uh, highest that basically means we'll just skip that turn for the moment. Pretty much. <laughs> for their turn, because they got a twenty thirty. Jeez. <laughs> Spencer, you make out in Draconic. Come out, come out. Hmm. 
Guess they aren't that afraid. Either they're, in my, my thinking, guess they're either afraid of us or forgot we're here. I'm going to say Andrew Kai back. Shut you, yeah. Looks like we've got company, guys. It's just me returning. Yeah, everybody's in here. I don't buy that. I'm not here, he's in. Yep, we've got. Yep, yep, yep. It was worth it. <laughs> that, however, is going to be their turn. They're not going to do anything yet. Jim, your turn. Well, since I'm still of the opinion we're going after just vermin, I'm just. I got my hammer ready and I'm walking downstairs. Okay. You are uh, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take about a three minute break because Paul just got here and if we're going to do combat, may as well have him do his tutorial fight right now. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Which should hopefully go a little smoother because now so we've almost... got out of practice, out of practice, has at least done it once, has at least done it once. Yeah. So all of a sudden... That one of the characters takes a step and completely vanishes, being replaced by another. Or some guy going, Wait up, guys! <laughs> I'll dump him out right outside the cellar door. <laughs> I just had a dream. And uh, given you that were I, there. and you were there, given that I put together, given that I put together the Dragonborn to take his place in this, uh, the Dragonborn will have urgent business after the fight. But I'll not have him count towards XP for this one. Okay. Just so that that way we can add up everything you guys get over the course of the adventure and just divide by five. Or at the end of the night, if you want experience at the end of the night. Yeah. 